Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and today I'm going to show you how to remove a drive letter from a Windows OEM partition in Windows 10. Keep watching to find out more. Okay, so today we're going to be taking a look at the way to get rid of a drive letter in Windows 10 when it's showing an OEM partition with a logical drive letter in Windows Explorer which can be pretty frustrating and is annoying to see, especially if you've got other USB drives and you're trying to work out which drive you're trying to transfer information to. So that's enough wittering on about it. Let's get onto the computer and show you how to both remove the drive letter and alternatively, if you want to get it back, how to assign a drive letter. Okay, so if you open your Windows Explorer and on your desktop and you've got this, so you've got your normal drive letters, a C and D drive, obviously your drive letters may be different if you've got USBs attached or other hard drives, SSDs, etc. But we've got this local disk queue, and if we click on it, it says the folder is empty. So this is actually an OEM partition, which is incorrectly showing in Windows Explorer. So to show you that in a little bit better context, if we open up disk management, so you can click on the, or right click on the start bar and choose disk management. And in disk management, we see all of our drive partitions here. And you can see here, we've got drive Q, which is this one, which is this healthy OEM partition, which Windows uses to store files and to kind of recreate itself should things go wrong or if you're doing a system restore, that kind of thing. But you don't really want it to have a drive letter. So what I need to do is to go into the command line. So if we get a command prompt up, now you need an elevated command prompt. So you want to run as administrator. So right click and choose run as administrator. And we want to use the disk parts command. Let's move these around a bit so you can see what's actually going on, hopefully. So type in disk part and hit enter. And now what we want to do is we want to have a list of the volumes in the system. So we type in list volume, again, hit enter. So this is the one which is the problem. It's got the letter Q and it's volume two. So what we need to do now is type in select volume two and hit enter. So now volume two is this selected volume. So now what we can do is type in remove letter and the letter of the drive. So in this case, it's Q and hit enter. And there we go. So it says this part successfully removed the drive letter or mount point. And if you're watching in this side, you would see that the drive letter has disappeared. And also in drive management, it now just shows it as a healthy OEM partition with no drive letter assignment. So that's all well and good, but maybe you actually, you want to add a drive letter for some reason. So we'll go through the process again. So, so on the start bar, command prompt, right click and run as administrator to get your elevated prompt. Type in disk part. We'll try to type in disk part. And we'll do list volume. So this is gonna show us all our volumes. Now the one we wanted here was the 834 megabyte one, which is our NTF partition there. So we'll select volume two. Volume two is now selected volume. So now all we need to do is we can give it a letter. So if we do assign letter and we'll call it M for Mike's unboxing, hit M and there we go. We've just assigned a drive letter to that partition. And if we, uh, we'll now get rid of it again. So all we have to do is remove letter and we know the letter because we've just given it so we'll remove letter m and there we go again you can see the drive disappearing so this part is successfully this part has successfully removed the drive letter or mount point what we need to do now is type exit and this part will finish and then we can just close down that window and we're all done and we're all back to normal and we're just showing the drives we actually want to show within windows explorer so there we go, there is a relatively simple and pain-free way of doing it. Some people have actually said, or have tried to do it through the actual uh, disk management option within Windows, 
Uh, I find that to be not very useful and quite often if you try to right click and choose properties, the drive letter or assigning a drive letter option isn't available. So for me, disk part is the way forward. So there we go, there has been how to remove a logical drive letter from a hidden or system partition in Windows 10. I've been Mike, this is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.